Today's morning coffee vinyl side. Johnny Maddox and his Dixie Boys, Dixieland Blues, 1958. Born in 1927 in Gateland, Tennessee, the young Johnny Maddox studied classical piano for the better part of two decades with several teachers, including one who had themselves studied with Franz Liszt, giving him a two-step connection to a classical pedigree that included perhaps one of the greatest piano virtuosos of the 19th century. His passion for music was not limited to classical, as he was also an avid fan of ragtime music after early exposure to it as a child, and he would start his professional career playing in a dance band as he hit his adult years. But fortune smiled on Maddox in 1950 when he recorded and released a record on the newly created Dot Records label, a small company headed by his friend and record store owner Randy Wood, with whom Maddox had been working at the record store since the mid-40s. That 1950 s release of St. Louis Tickle and Easy Bone Rag hit money, making Maddox Dot's first successful artist and was instrumental in funding the growth of Dot into one of the powerhouse labels of the era. Maddox was an exceptional player. He had a natural feel for the rhythmic interplay required to play ragtime and Dixie blues. Expressive and light, he seemed born into the genre despite his classical training and was often assumed to be a colored musician, named as such by blues pioneer W.C. Handy, who called Maddox the white boy with colored fingers. This was in recognition that Maddox was not a pretender or a thief distilling the music into something more palpable for white consumption, but that he stayed true to its spirit and form, basically Muhammad moving to the mountain and worshipping in an already long-established temple. This album is fantastic, one of the most enjoyable Dixieland blues spins I've ever heard. It features Maddox with an assembly of blues and Dixieland jazz musicians billed as Johnny Maddox and the Dixie Boys, and all of them individually named on the jacket. Now that caught my eye immediately, and the liner notes call attention to this as well, both to sell the authenticity of the recording, some of the names are obviously known and celebrated black musicians, but in a transgressive way to challenge the paradigm of the day as segregation and discrimination was the rule of law in many states and still the practice in many others. This is something about Maddox that I'm going to be curious to know more about, as his reverence for both his contemporaries and those he followed into his musical field seemed to have been explicit and well acknowledged. I've heard a lot of bad Dixieland jazz and blues albums, and this album redeems them all. Maddox is an artist I'm going to keep an eye out for, as I'm sure his story is way more interesting and nuanced than I have time to convey here. But I'm tickled at knowing that you can take two steps from Franz Liszt, Liszt through Prudence Simpson Dresser, to Maddox, and arrive at ragtime-infused Dixieland blues. And equally of note, and for future exploration, Maddox seemed to study music under the direction of several very strong and prominent women who helped shape his musical sensibility and artistic temperament. Now I find that equally fascinating.